Hello and welcome to chapter 3.2 in our post-event exhibitor guide. In this video, we'll review when and how to follow up with your different leads, as well as tiering or ranking them. A survey by Association of Event Organizers revealed that 75% of exhibitors admitted to not following up their leads effectively. Following up with your leads is critical, especially if you've already expended time and energy generating them. So when and how should you follow up? It takes time to build a sense of trust, so it's better to follow up early while the interaction is still fresh. The simplest and most effective way is to send a template email to all your leads, letting them know it was great to meet them and suggesting a next step. You can do this the day after the event or at most a week after. If you're able to tailor the message based on the information you gathered about them, this is even better. The goal of this exercise is to keep your brand top of mind. Tiering your leads. After you've made the first follow-up, you should split your leads into three separate tiers. Your top tier is for the most qualified leads, which also demand the most attention. Funnel these for immediate feedback and sales loops for your business. Having a personal touch is best here, so make sure to call or set up a face-to-face -face meeting for maximum effect. You should also put your best team on these leads, or the staff who met with the lead during the event. Second tier is for good quality leads, who may not be ready to buy. Although a personal touch is important here, the objective is slightly different. You're looking to be in the right place at the right time, so ask them when would be the best time to get back in touch. In the meantime, add them to a nurture campaign that regularly connects via email or other channels. Your last tier may buy, but have a low probability of doing so. You can stay in touch with them, but don't dedicate too many resources. However, it's well established that only having one touch point is not enough to guarantee a sale. Between first contact and a confirmed customer, it can take up to seven separate contacts. So be prepared to keep in touch. Lastly, you should not only evaluate your results immediately after the event. Many companies create their lead tracking reports three, six, and even nine months after a major event to track the progress of new leads right through to the bottom line. The more time passes, the more you can accurately determine the true value of your leads. In our final video in the series, we'll look at ways of planning for the next event. Thanks for watching.